Joe Manchin got interviewed today and they asked him the very important question. Are you leaving the Democratic Party? What do you think about being, isn't it easier being a Republican? Check this out and then we'll take it on the other side. Have you ever thought my life would be easier for you if you shifted to being a Republican? And somebody have said recently that, um, you know, people have approached you about doing that. Every day. Every day. So, um, well, any, either that or just change. I mean, here's the, I actually wouldn't it might be easier for you to do that? Oh, it would be much easier. My goodness. Are you but thinking is about that the it? purpose of being involved in public service? Are, are you thinking because about it's easy? doing it? No, I've never, I, I never thought from this. I, I'm a, I, what I'm telling you now is who I am. Do you think by having a D or an I or an R is going to change who I am? I don't think the R's be any more happier with me than D's are right now. Okay, I mean, that's about as blunt as I can put it. So I don't know where in the hell I belong. Little nitpick. So I don't know where the hell I belong. Do you think changing it to an R, an I, or D is going to change me? And the Republicans will be just as pissed at me as the Democrats are. Believe it or not. I kind of like the answer. Now, I don't like the morals behind what he stands for, but I think there's a certain ring to that answer, and there's another important piece. For now, he's still caucusing with the Democrats because he does realize his power only lies within the Democratic Party that has a slim majority with the vice president. But you know what? As soon as he is irrelevant to the, to the Democratic Party, which our expectations is that it will come pretty soon. Progressives, you got to go out there and work hard. You have to go out there against cinema. You got to go out there against mansion. You got to go out there against every single Democrat that belongs in another party that doesn't really support the middle class, that doesn't really support policies that and that lifts people up, people that are not going to be condescending to those who have been maligned by the plutocracy. When you hear a Joe Manchin say, I don't want to create an entitlement state, yet he entitles the plutocracy with benefits, with billions of dollars, trillions of dollars of our work. You know, we have to rid ourselves of those. Right now we need Joe Manchin. Right now we need... Kirsten Cinema, but it is our job to go out there and do the work that is necessary to really build a progressive base, but that also requires informing people appropriately so that, they, so that the fallacies that come across from these guys, his daughter was the one who gouged us with the EpiPen. These were the people who constantly lie to us about somehow profit in the healthcare system can somehow be more efficient than a one-payer system. The fallacies of many of the people in our own party has to end, and it ends by progressives getting them out in the long run, but playing ball when necessary to attain the ultimate goal. So where do you belong? When we get more progressives elected, like you once said, you'll understand where you belong. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.